tell us a little bit about your musical journey then for people who have missed our conversations because you have actually, you've been playing, you've been writing music and gigging from a, quite a young age, haven't you? Yeah, so I've I've first started drumming. When, oh, so drums yes. were the first instrument when I was about three or four years old. I've always been a songwriter. Guitar was the next instrument, then piano and then banjo and bass. And then when I was 15, I I would been in multiple bands and stuff. And then when I was 15, I said, I'm going to do it on my own and picked up the guitar and the piano. And my dad started off taking me around, like started off in Leeds. Then we went all around the country and stuff. And it really has just been ever since then, just gigging every week, really. It's like changing musical direction. Yes, indeed. And how's that come about? Um, well, I've always kind of ever... So when I first started playing music, I noticed, even from being a really young age, the, the artists I've listened to growing up, even the English artists, have always sang with American twang. Yeah. So even like the likes of Elton John, I grew up on like Led Zeppelin and stuff. It was all very blues-influenced music. So when I sang, I've never really been able to sing in an English accent. I've always just preferred naturally to sing with this twang. And then mm. I kind of leaned more and more towards the kind of country style of singing over the last few years, even with the other stuff I was doing. And I got more progressively into country music. And then I decided one day, I just said, you know what, I think um, this is kind of where my heart is right now. And I thought, why not just release an album? Just write, write loads of new music that I've never really done before. Um, not that style anyway, mm. and just release it. It's kind of, I've always grown up on like Americana. Yeah. So even the songs I wrote before, I kind of class them as pop rock. But again, it leaned very much towards the Americana sound. And then one day I just said, you know what, let's just get the banjo out and go the full way. <laughs> Let's just get the banjo out. You might find yourself in Nashville, though. Wouldn't that be amazing? Yeah, that is the plan. I think I'd, right now the aim, the dream really, is to kind of break into the UK scene. There's a lot of UK country artists on at the minute that are doing really well. I know Jade Helliwell was in here a few yeah. weeks ago. Um, and he's kind of trying to break into that, get onto those stages, and then hopefully, yeah, the aim would be to go to Nashville maybe next year or a year after that, maybe we'll see. Wow. Well, thank you so much for coming in. Again, if people would like to get hold of that, the song is Looks Country To Me. The album is Looks, Looks Country, Country, to, Country me. to Me as well, and it's available all over the place. Just Everywhere. remind us. Spotify, Apple Music, uh, YouTube, just go on lukefleer.com and everything's on there. I'm on social media and stuff like that. Fantastic. Thanks ever so much for coming in, Luke. Lovely to see you. You take care. Ta-ra! BBC.